After it filmed here, the movie Virginia is now in West Michigan theaters. Our movie guy Aaron Lafferty joined a crowd of hundreds to see the movie's Midwest premiere at Waterfront Film Festival last weekend, and he joins us now yes. with a review. This is one that's taken a long time yes. for people to get a chance to see. 2009, fall yeah. of 2009, the film here, and it was it was nice to see it with, you know, the the home theater, if you will, the home group mm -hmm. of people uh, out of Waterfront, you know, 700 people out there. Um, you know, all the Michigan locations, and finally seeing this movie come to fruition. Of course, it uh, it went to Toronto International Film Festival, and it didn't get a good re good reviews, right. so they, they did a little re-edit. So yep. we're not exactly sure exactly what they did to re-edit it, but I think it's better for it. Okay. Um, this is only in uh, at Celebration North this weekend, so this is a very limited release in West Michigan, and it's only at a couple theaters across the country, so limited markets are kind of doing the selected What's the storyline again? I totally forgot. Um, yeah, because it's been a well, so Jennifer Connelly plays a mom. She's a single mom. She's got some uh, psychological issues, trying to raise her son by herself. She's got this ongoing relationship with the sheriff of the town, who's also running for governor, and he's married, so there's an affair. There's all these different relationships and characters. It's a real character study kind of a movie. Um, the way the plot and the story is conceived, it really requires you to pay attention because you know there's there's some starting from the end, going back in time, going back to the end kind of format here. Uh, Jennifer Connelly is great. Um, if for nothing else, it's worth seeing her performance, mm -hmm. and obviously for West Michiganians. Did I say that right? Michiganders? <laughs> Michiganders, yeah. Michigander. Um, it's worth seeing all the all the locations. Wonderful. Um, not a movie that's going to get Oscar attention except for maybe Jennifer Connelly. We'll see. It obviously has to get in front of enough people to get that kind of nomination. But definitely one of her better roles that she's done in her career. Wow. wow. It sees her, you know, in a very realistic light. She's very a real person, yeah. not this glamorous. Right. From the beginning, she is this Hollywood. character. She's got the accent down. She's got the psychological issues going on, so mm -hmm. she, she nails this character. Wonderful. Okay. okay, a bigger release, and I know. Right. I'm okay, I'm so excited. excited about I don't know that. why you saw it, and Rachel <laughs> and her little princess ha did not. Well, Speak this is really nice. This has been months in the making. We right. already have right. the brave toys at home, and <laughs> sure. I'm sure that's just going to grow in the next weeks. And, and the movie looks great, and I'll just say this right off the bat. Save a couple bucks and see it in 2D. Okay. Because the 3D kind of muddies down the picture a little bit. Oh, okay. There, there's, uh, there's some darker moments in this movie where in the forest, where um, in some different situations where it's like night, so the 3D doesn't look as good as it would be in 2D. So okay. you get your more vibrant colors. It's good plus, to know, Aaron. Plus it's Pixar, you got the red locks of, of Merida. She's a Scottish princess. This isn't your normal Disney princess. This is a girl who's very independent. She wants to kind of set her own course. And there's this mother, excuse me, mother-daughter dynamic, which you guys will appreciate. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, a lot of moms taking their daughters to this movie, uh, the, the central core of the movie is the mother-daughter dynamic and how Merida wants her wants to go her own way and her mom wants her to be this princess, very prim and proper and etiquette. And uh, she's into archery and she gets along with her dad really well, who's this warrior king mm -hmm. that's, that took over. So there's a lot of fun stuff here. There's, there's some very Disney familiar things about it. And then there's some more Pixar things about it. It's it's, it's more of a Disney-esque kind of a movie than like a Pixar cutting edge, something you've never seen before. This is Who's some the of the voice stuff very of the girl, the triplet uh, brothers? It's uh, her name oh, is Hubert, Kelly Mc Hamish and Harris. Oh. Uh, <laughs> We're reading the books already, Aaron. Kelly McDonald is the voice of Merida. Oh, okay. really? Okay, so it's not yeah. somebody that maybe most of us are familiar right. with. Right. If if you saw her, you probably remember her. But uh, a lot of Scottish or English actors in this movie voice huh. in the characters. So wow, it's, it's we fun. need though. It's something different. Great. Because yeah. they really haven't right. done anything kind of set that you know. <laughs> sometimes it's medieval, but right. a real strong. There's always like a moral of a story right. in the Disney Disney stories, and how something happens to the mom. So right. we've read these books already. I kind of know right. what it's about. Not right. even going. And to this the this is Pixar's first uh, female 
uh, protagonist. So that's, oh, that's okay, interesting. Fun. And yeah, you think it'll be the big, so, big, big oh, winner definitely, definitely, going away this definitely. weekend, right? Easily. Okay, so it's Perfect. in a lot of theaters. Like when you go, there'll be a lot of showings of it. A lot of showings. You get the 2D and the 3D again. Go with the 2D because you're going to save yourself some money and it'll look better for you. Perfect. Okay. Then supersize so, the popcorn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's good for, for probably four ages four and up. Okay. You're probably safe. Good. It is PG. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, as always, there's always a variety at the theaters yes. because they know that a lot of people are going to be going, the family's going to see Brave. Right. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to kind of change gears here to a different movie for maybe the teens. Right. We, well, we got, we got two other movies that are rated R. One is okay. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Oh, adults, I guess. Um, this is a yeah. horror action fantasy kind of a movie. Basically, the, the premise of the movie is Abraham Lincoln. Uh, is aware that vampires are trying to take over the United States. Obviously, at the time nearing the Civil War, the country was kind of, you know, splitting into fractions, mm -hmm. and the vampires yep. looked for their own country to take over. Um, obviously, this is uh, fictional, right? So, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of liberties that, that they take with the story. It I mean, is rated it's been R. a long time since I've been in history class, but I do not remember vampires right. uh, associated with Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Tim Lincoln. Burton is one of the producers on this movie. Okay. The, nice. the director was the guy that did the movie Wanted, the Angelina Jolie movie, mm -hmm. if you ever saw that. So there's a lot of action, there's a lot of flying around and kicking butt and all those things. And uh, Abraham Lincoln in a different light than you've probably seen before. But some yeah. history professors or teachers may be a little upset with this movie. Yeah, not surprised. Because it skews history a little bit. Okay, another one rated R this weekend. Okay, you remember uh, the movie Armageddon? Yes. Sure. Where there's an asteroid coming towards Earth and they send a crew and, spoiler alert, they save the day? Yeah. Well, imagine if they didn't save the day. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what this next movie is about. Seeking a friend for the end of the world, it's um, Steve Carell and Keira Knightley, and uh, all the people have, have just come to assume and, and accept the fact that this asteroid is going to hit the Earth. So they kind of just do whatever they want. They run amok, and they have parties, and they don't go to work. And What's kind of that question so that people say if you had what would two you do? weeks left? Yeah, right. exactly. what are you going to do? And his, so Steve Carell's real that. life wife is in this movie, yes. which is kind of a cool right. dynamic. Which, which they've, done, they've done that a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, they, there's this friendship that, that happens because of the events with the end of the world coming, and again, it's rated R and it's in a wide release. Okay, okay. real quick, Aaron, uh, you have some picks to share with us. Yes. Always like to hear this and uh, kind of pick your brain about what's good. Well, the, the easy one, and it, you know, this is for all audiences, obviously, is, is Brave, going back to that. Just, I mean, it looks great, it's a fun movie. Um, it may be more for the moms and daughters than the sons and fathers, mm -hmm. but this is a fun movie, family movie, and if you don't see it in theaters, Definitely put it on your rental list, but this is a movie to see. This will be one of the Oscar noms. Oh, awesome. For okay. animated movies this year. What about uh, rentals? I always like to hear what you uh, think is good for that. Um, finally, uh, actually not finally, but because I was gone, I couldn't tell you about this last week. Uh, the Greys out on DVD, Liam Neeson. This is one of the better movies of the year so far. Um, it may not be Oscar time, but uh, Liam Neeson is in his element, in the elements, out in the wilderness. Um, it's just kind of a fun movie to see how people would survive when you're trying to survive in the wilderness. Wonderful. All right, we can yes. find you online. Laugh right. at the movies, your blog. All right, got both my reviews on there and we'll put some more stuff on there later. Sounds great. Thanks, Wonderful. Aaron. Thank you, right. Aaron. Mm -hmm. Don't go away. That's West.